Well, what do you make of just as a small sort of aside in human history, perhaps it's a big one, is the NFT, the non-fungible tokens, do you find those interesting technically or is it more interesting on the social side of things? Well, um, um, both. I think, you know, I think it's um, NFTs are actually great, right? So you have this, um, you are an artist to create a, a song or it could be um, a, a piece of art. Um, um, he has many re unique representation, right, of a of, of unique uh, uh, a piece, whether it's an artifact or uh, uh, something dreamed up uh, by you and, uh, and as unique representation that now you can trade. And allow, and the important part is that now you have this, uh, not only the NFTs themselves, but the ability to trade them quickly, fast, securely, knowing that who, who owns which rights. And uh, that uh, gives a totally new opportunity for content creators to be remunerated for what do they do. So, but ultimately you still have to have that scalability, security, uh, and decentralization to to make yes. it you know <laughs> to to make it Absolutely. work for bigger and bigger applications. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still wonder what kind of applications are yet to be like enabled by it because so much. The interesting thing about NFTs, you know, if you look outside of art, is uh, just like money, you can start playing with different social constructs. Is you can start playing with the ideas you can start playing with um with uh, even like investing somebody was talking about almost creating an economy out of uh like uh creative people or influencers like if you start a youtube channel or something like that you can invest in that person and you can start trading their creations and then almost like create a market out of people's ideas, out of people's creations, out of the people themselves uh, that generate those creations. And there's a lot of interesting possibilities of what you can do with that. I mean, it seems ridiculous, but uh, you're basically creating a hierarchy of value, maybe artificial, in the digital world and are trading that. But in so doing, are inspiring people to create. <laughs> so maybe, uh, as a sort of our economy gets better and better and better, where actual work in the physical space uh, becomes less and less in terms of its importance, maybe we'll completely be operating in the digital space where uh, where these kinds of economies have more and more power. And then you have to have this kind of blockchains to uh, the scalability, security, and decentralization. And then decentralization is of course the tricky one because uh, people in power start to get nervous. Absolutely. <laughs> Once in power, you're always nervous to be supplanted by somebody else. <laughs> but this is your job. So you, Congratulations, you, you got the job, the top job, and now everybody wants it. <laughs> well, 